A workbook is a digital place to store information, uh, graphs, text, pictures, lots of different things. I'm going to move my screen around just a little bit. Um, I'm using a lower resolution just so that all this movie will fit in there. You'll be able to see text down below here, but because of my resolution we cannot see it on this screen. To start working with a workbook, you need to click the display menu and show tools. The tools will be locked up every time you um, close the file. Every time you reopen it, they'll be locked. And so you just need to choose display, show tools. And these are your workbook tools. If I click on the A, it'll be a new text box that I can just drag around. I can resize it. If you right click within the text box, you can change the font size, just a few different things. There's no special formatting um, like Greek letters or superscripts or subscripts, just really basic editing uh, formatting abilities. You can go to the next page down here and again down at the bottom there's some titles for each of these pages that we cannot see in the movie right now. I've included um, I think 12 pages or so. This would delete a page. This would add a workbook page. This would add a display. So if I wanted to add a graph display I could just click the four pane window and choose graph and say OK. And we'll talk about graphs in a little bit. How to change the axes and what to do with graphs. And again, there's a text box for the workbook. There's a text box that only works on the graph, and that has a nice little pointer that goes with it. The text box for the workbook is independent of the graph and can actually float over it or, if you're not careful, underneath it. Uh, the workbook tools are pretty simple. If you ever close a workbook, it can be refound right down here uh, where it says rename. So I can just reopen it. If I click once here and wait and then click again, I can actually type and rename the workbook so that when I'm printing it, it appears proper. Please do not resize the workbook window. Okay, I've set these workbooks up so that they print a portrait on a piece of paper and they'll print pretty nicely. But if you resize them to maximize the use of the screen, uh, they're not going to print well and things will be messed up. So remember, that when you reopen your workbook, you're going to have to choose Display and Show Tools. If you want to remove an item from a workbook, there's a dark border, and then a second click shows a light border. And then you can just hit this X right here, and that item, whether it's a graph or a display, text display, or digits, or something else, it will go away. So again, that's how you add a text box. This is how you'd import a picture from a file, but we didn't talk about that. This is how you'd import a display such as a graph or digits or a table. After you've chosen an object on your workbook, you can remove it right here. If it's a text box, you can right click and you can change some basic formatting skills. Or also on a Mac, you can control click and then it'll show this context menu.